Welcome to More Music's One Day Film, where we're presenting seven commissions from artists across the north that we were able to give work to as part of a cultural recovery fund. Um, the seven artists have recorded work at home and some have recorded with our team here at More Music in the West End Gardens of Splendour. Um, the film is a partner to That Spring Thing Festival event, which celebrates the changing of the seasons here with arts and crafts workshops, um, more performances from local musicians and of course cake. Gorilla Biscuits is the electronic music project from Dave Shooter who's also the co-producer of Hymns for Robots and director of Lancaster Jazz Festival. His one day commission is a time-lapse film of the weather and the view across Morecambe Bay and he's made uh, an electronic music piece to accompany that.
Shah is a composer producer based in Manchester who's worked a lot with more music over the years, mentoring young people and helping them to hone their songwriting and production skills. Her song talks about one day when life changed. Hi, my name's Shah and I'm going to sing a track called The Difference A Day Makes. This Is Progress is an award-winning songwriter whose second album, The Wild Frontier, is out now. His song, One Day A Seed, One Day A Tree, is one that tells us of a hope for the future. One day a seed, one day a tree, one day blood and cells mix. No. 
Emma Rucastle is a theatre director and practitioner in, in Lancaster and she had the fantastic idea of making a voice collage of people's responses to the theme of one day. She stitched them together to make a script um, with its own new narrative and she's found images to illustrate the story. One Day, devised and created by Emma Rucastle. Photography by Ginny Cottonhall. Contributions and voices from Anne Banks, Patricia Barnicott, Phil Chandler, Jill Clough, Hannah Cotton, Andy Doble, Mark Evans, Elizabeth Fig, David Novell, Malik Luther Novell, Trinity Joy Novell, David Pogson, Deborah Powell, Emma Rucastle, Karen Treadwell and Stephen Wyatt. There is a growing chasm between one day I hope and one day there will be. I still I think, have hope, but I'm running very short of optimism. One day, I will feel stronger. One day, maybe, not today. One day, there will be a way to travel instantaneously. Recently, my friends and I were bemoaning the fact that decades after Star Trek, we still could not cry out, beam me up, Scotty, or Neelam, or Yoko, and experience the disintegration of the particles of our body in one place and the reintegration of the same in a totally different place. And all in the twinkling of an eye, none of this waiting in airports, being packed into trains, fretting through substitute bus services and enduring hours cooped up in some too small machine in order to reach our holiday work family emergency destination. And by the way, why were they always beamed up? Surely they needed to be beamed down to those planets over which the Starship Enterprise continuously hovered. I know from daily experience that there are many beautiful people living compassionate lives 
But I cannot delude myself about the scale of the hatred and brutality that abounds in this world. I cannot write all this violence off as the aberration of a misguided few. Some of this hatred runs deep and old. When I am surrounded by the brave souls out on the street confronting that hatred, I find some hope that the river of stories can carve a new course. But then I see the height of the levees they have built to hold it fixed and controlled, and I falter. Of course, we know, also from experience, that levees can be torn down by hurricanes and whole new landscapes can be formed. But before we wish for a hurricane, we must first remember that when the floodwaters come, it is the poor who have no boats. One day I woke to the gun at the door, the men in my garden, my child on the floor. One day I wept for the life that had been, the ones that had died, and all that I'd seen. One day I paid for a place on a boat, so many crammed on it was barely afloat. One day my sleep won't end with a scream as I fight the men off in another bad dream. One day I'll wake with a smile on my face and a key in the door of my own safe place. One day, I tell you, all will be well. One day, I'll escape from my own living hell. Such are the vagaries of time that it is the less happy trips of memory that would have been the first candidates for quantum transmission. Happy, exciting mystery journeys remain in my mind as something to savor. Settling down with a good book, a bag of pretzels and a window, I would think how wonderful it was to have this space outside time. In these cases, to his quote, it was as interesting to travel as to arrive. But how much less stressful a sudden call to a California hospital bedside would have been if we had materialized instantly. Instead, my sister and I made black jokes as we tried not to throw our imaginations forward ahead of our slow physical progress. And transporting of ashes from the USA to the UK would not have had us on tenderhooks for weeks, not quite knowing where the ashes of cat and mistress were and hoping that they, unlike the luggage of my sister during her frequent flyer years, would not end up in Budapest or Tokyo. Would Scotty ever have made that mistake? No, he would have done the job in an instant for sentiment's sake, in spite of Mr. Spock's disapproval. One day our ways will part, our threads unravel, our lives fray at the edges, yet the warp and weft will hold their shape so we can shuttle on, a little loose in the weave. One day, it is certain, that I'll have to die. Friends and family at the creme to wish me goodbye. So their choice of music should sum up my life, that enjoyable triumph over trouble and strife. Perhaps the Beach Boys with fun, fun, fun. Or maybe the Beatles singing, here comes the sun. Katrina's walking on sunshine is always worth a play. Or maybe Sinatra with I did it my way. But once through the curtains and into the fire, Frankie Lane's cool water might be my desire. One day, there'll be no more waiting. One day, we'll go around the world. One day like this. One day more. One day at a time. One day, there will be singing and rejoicing in the streets. One sweet day. One day, we will all be free. One day over the rainbow. One day, I do believe, with a sincere, heartfelt notion without trouble or commotion. Surely life would be simply grand to one day again, maybe, shake your hand. One day, my smile will share positivity and confidence with others. One day, maybe others will just accept me for being me. One day, we will be. We will be free in being human beings. One day, we will be not you, me, they, but we. One day, we will be. 
One day the world will be ours. One day we will be in charge. One day I hope there will be optimism. But I have to believe that there will always at least be hope. Charlie J is a rapper and producer based in South Wales who came up through more music's stages and Lancashire Youth Vocal Ensemble projects. His One Day Commission is a spoken word piece that talks about that one day when we'll be able to get back together with our family and friends, give them a hug and enjoy live events again. And it's been so long since I've seen your face. Every wrinkle that tells a story about how you got to this place. The dimples on your cheeks as you smile at a joke that was once cracked at a party. And even when I see you now, you're here, but only partly. Because one day everything changed. We don't walk the same, talk the same, even share our thoughts the same. And a life that was so colourful, full of laughter, music, love, passion, friends, family, parties, after, became all the same. And for so long, each day became a blur, where one day ended and the next began became unclear. And one day turned to two, two to a week and soon a year. And if you're listening right now, then I assume you're here. With the same hopes and dreams that one day we can make memories again with all those we hold close. And that yesterday's gone, and just a reminder of the things we miss most. And as the sun sets over the coast, maybe a new day's on the horizon. One day where we can sing, smile, sit with those we truly love. But I guess inside me there was a fear that, that one day would not come soon enough. A fear that bridges that we built and connections that we'd made, that we could not look after would surely start to fade. And that little bit of light that we once had, that one day, is all we'd ever hoped it would be. A day where we can finally be free and the people we meet share the same enthusiasm, same love, same excitement that we once had and that the good times and good feelings start to come back. And any fears, anxieties, what if it's not the same, disappear from our minds as we realise that all is okay. So that one day, whenever it may come, I hope it's everything you wish for, everything you want. Greg Stevens from the Boat Band wrote a song in 1968 called Black Coombe in the Morning for a show at the Palace Theatre in Morecambe. Sadly the show was never produced so it's great that we can bring this song alive now with new verses that Greg's written with his grandson Ben. And he's performing them here, uh, filmed at More Music with Pete Moser, More Music's founder, and Kate from the Boat Band. church exchanged our vows and took a train to Morecambe next day the B and b was called Bayview it had a view of the bay da -da -da -da. Lovely stuff. 
stick to a rhubarb. Rhubarb! I've never seen a like it before. I declare! It must be three foot long and as thick as your arm. A nice slice of that won't do you any harm. Do you any harm? Do you any harm? And across the bay. And you still see black coom in the morning. And a chocolate for breakfast, salted caramel for tea. Rolling down the hill in town hall gardens, eat my sandwich by the sea. Then I went and bought a chocolate. Dropped half of it on the floor Tried to pick it up I was out of luck So I asked for more, more, more Geocaching trip near Preston Took us 50 minutes to drive Seagull tried to steal my sandwich Lucky just to be alive Made me a bit scared of seagulls didn't end the tears Went back to school Got the class trip award For facing up to my fears And across the bay Can you still see Black coom in the morning And across the bay still see black coon in the morning. Singer-songwriter with Blossom and Bee, Faye Marie, basically grew up with more music. She was a member of Baby Street Band, and she learned a lot of songwriting skills on the Stages project. Her song includes the line, from this moment on, it's discoveries.
like I do Do you wish you could lose yourself Like I do Do you feel hurt all the time Like I do Do you tie yourself You'll be just fine Like I do You'll be just fine Thanks so much for joining us and watching our film. Um, Hope you'll go and support the artists that we've commissioned and go and check out their social media accounts and give them a follow. And we look forward to seeing you in real life and online one day.